Hi everyone. An open box is formed from a piece. Oh, this should be piece. Sorry about that. A piece of um, cardboard that's 12 inches square by cutting equal squares out of the corners and turning up the sides. We have to find the volume of the largest box that can be made in this way. So we know that um, the height, since it's 12, remember right in here, this is X and this is X on the side. So if it's 12, it's going to be 12 minus the 2X because we have X. For example, this one, we have X here and X here. Well, we cut that out. So you're subtracting the 2x. So we have the height equals 12 minus 2x. And the width, the length, let's call it the length, is also, this, this in here, is also the same thing because we're cutting out the x's here. So that's going to be 12 minus x as well because this is a square box. And our volume is uh, width, we could call it x, and then our times height, let x equal the width. So it's x times height times length, or we could write this as x times 12 minus x squared. Now, when you simplify this, you're going to get, um, let's write it out again, x times 12 minus 2x squared. So when you do the x, you're going to get 144 for this uh, first part, minus 2, 4 times that is 48 and then plus 4x squared. And I'm just using the a minus b squared formula, which is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. All right, so therefore, and then let's go ahead and uh, distribute the x. You get 144x minus 48x squared plus 4x cubed. Now, what we want to do is take the derivative of our volume with respect to x, and that's going to equal 144 minus 96x plus uh, 12x squared, and we're going to get, um, if you divide everything, and we set this to 0, if you divide everything by 12, or let's just factor out the 12, you're going to get, uh, and I'm going to reverse this. Um, I'm going to put this guy first. So it's going to be x squared. And if you divide 96 by 12, you get minus 8x. And then 144 divided by 12 is going to be plus 12 equals 0. And if you factor this, you're going to get x minus 2 and x minus 6. So our... Um, X's are going to be, X is um, going to be 2 or 6. We disregard that um, X equals 6 because it doesn't, if you plug in 6 into this, you're going to get 0. So we have to disregard that. That's part of um, knowing your parameters or your boundaries. So we have uh, x equals 2, so the maximum volume would be 2 times, since it's a square, um, you're going to write maximum volume is 2 times 8 squared, which equals 128 cubic. cubic inches, all right, and that's all, thank you, have a nice day, bye-bye.